Torsion Beam Suspension Torsion beam suspensions, also known as twist beam suspensions, are commonly found on some entry-level or cheaper car models, due to their low manufacturing costs. A torsion beam suspension base is on its design from a trailing arm suspension. Trailing arm suspension uses a trailing arm, which extends forward to a pivot on the car body. The upper part of the trailing arm supports the coil spring. A trailing arm suspension only allows the wheel to move up and down on road bumps. The design does not accommodate any lateral movement, or camber change relative to the car body. When the vehicle rolls into a corner, the trailing arm rolls by the same amount as the car body, changing the camber angle relative to the road surface. The arm is rigidly attached to the wheel at the other end, thus shock and noise can inevitably be transmitted to the car body, especially during cornering or driving on bumpy roads. Torsion beam suspension improves the design, by joining the two trailing arms together by a cross member. The cross member itself acts as an anti-roll bar. The two wheels are attached to the ends of the beam, and twist slightly under load. When a wheel hits a bump and goes up, the beam will be deflected, and transfer part of the load into the other wheel. It will produce a torque along the beam to force the other side to go up as well. The beam normally has a relatively low torsional stiffness and high bending stiffness. When the wheel experiences a vertical force, the wheel is going to turn, as the pivot is in the front. The relatively high bending stiffness will help to resist any vertical forces turn into moments on the wheel. The beam will still be able to deflect on a single wheel bump, due to the low torsional stiffness. A torsion beam suspension provides the wheels a certain degree of independence, but not fully independent, as they are still linked by the beam. It also differentiates from a stiff solid axle suspension. In a torsion beam suspension, the coil spring is mounted in combination with a shock absorber, to reduce the impact from the road. Compared to other types of suspensions, a twist beam suspension is simple in design and is cheaper to make. The beam itself acts as an anti-roll bar, that simplifies things at the rear. However, it doesn't allow for much wheel adjustment by engineers. It also needs a lot of reinforcement, to mitigate the fatigue at the welding points. As mentioned before, the torsion beam suspension is commonly referred to as semi-independent, and the two wheels can move relative to each other but their movements are somewhat interrelated, rather than a full independent rear suspension. Torsion beam suspensions typically can be found in smaller and cheaper cars, as it is a good compromise between stability and cost. This suspension is widely used in a variety of compact front-wheel drive vehicles, and is mostly prevalent in European superminis, 